consecutive fall. And it looks like the German economy is really finding it difficult to get out of this recession we've been in in the last quarter of 22 and the first quarter of 23. The hope was that the economy would recover in the summer with the easing supply bottlenecks. But now it looks like the uh, it looks like general conditions are worsening. It's certainly the case that restrictive monetary policy it's, is having its effect on demand. We, see, we really, really see uh, restrictions moving from the supply side to the demand side now with fewer incoming orders. And that is uh, having a strong impact, in, especially on manufacturing companies. Yeah, and we saw that in the PMIs yesterday, uh, the demand picture has also started to worsen as well. How would you characterize how the demand picture is internally versus from uh, external sources? I think it's declining in both areas. I think internally, of course, interest rates are, are having their effect. Uh, maybe there's also uh, an effect uh, due to the fact that a lot of people have bought goods during the pandemic, uh, like furniture or cars or bicycles when uh, little money was spent on services and now there are few orders, um, there, are, there, there is few demand for industrial goods coming from uh, private households. Uh, but certainly externally, uh, we uh, have the declining demand and I guess that is related to the global tightening of monetary policy, which is having its impact on uh, demand, also on investment demand. And the German economy is strongly exposed towards investment goods, and these are interest rate sensitive. I was going to ask you about the impact monetary policy seems to be having, but you've, you've answered my question there. Let me ask you about energy costs, because energy costs are sitting a lot lower than where they were a year ago. Why has that not provided more of a tailwind to business sentiment? This, this is probably because the uncertainty uh, looking forward is still very high. So it's, it's far from clear how gas supplies will work in the coming winter. Uh, so there's a lot of caution. We see if we look at the very energy intensive chemical industry in Germany, we see that there was a decline in production last year and this is not recovering. So companies are not uh, getting back to the, the, the production levels before the energy price shocks, suggesting that uh, uh, many companies expect trouble ahead, although currently, yes, energy prices are low. Uh, but um, the, the issues with the gas supplies remain. Um, electricity prices are high in Germany, electricity prices for companies, and that has its effect.